in the provincial government of Albay, led by uh, Governor Al Francis Pechara for this uh, Smart Mayon 360 Ultramarathon in time for the celebration of the uh, Magayon Festival 2017. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The Young 360 started in 2011, but the whole concept started uh, three years before that when we first started the Mayon Trail Run. It was a trail run that coursed through some of the city's major tourist spots. And after the JCs successfully organized it, we decided to do another run, which is the Mayon 360. The plan was put on hold until 2011 when one of our members, JP Lee, was elected as president of the Liga ng Mga Barangay for Albay. Having him as a member uh, made the possibility of organizing the run easier because he gets to involve about 77 barangays around the volcano to help us in organizing and creating the support needed for the run. As for the technical aspect of the race, uh, we were able to get the support of uh, Sir General Narcisse, who is uh, well known as a bald runner. So. That's how the whole race started. We had a technical group and a partnership with the Liga ng Mga Barangay of Albay. In cooperation with the provincial government of Albay, most unique aspect of the race is that we have a support from an aid station supported by the barangay for every five kilometers of the race. So that makes the race a truly remarkable experience for the runners because you can have possibly more than a thousand people in the course cheering the runners, providing aid, and giving support. Kapa sa mga hindi ko makalimutan about Mayon 360 ay yung mga locals, yung mga tao dito sa Ligaspi, sa Albay, very accommodating, very supportive. Lahat, mula tanod, policemen, lahat, pati yung mga, mga bata, binabati ka nila, lahat ng mga locals, sumusupport talaga sila at inaabangan din nila yata tong, tong event na to. Wala po ako masabi sa mga residente, lahat po tumutulong. Kahit hindi sila kasama ng organizer, lahat sila tumutulong talaga. Ah, sobrang hirap ng ruta. Pero ano, masarap. Maganda yung ano, pagkikasama ng mga tao dito. It is truly an amazing aspect of Mayon 360. So that's how it all started. Mayon 360 is one of our primary uh, fundraising activity of the Asia of So, sa pondong nalilipon sa Mayon 360, we were able to generate a lot of community projects. And when you say a lot, uh, madami kami natutulungan sa JCI Legacy as an organization through Mayon 360. Some examples were box of drinks, wherein nagpo-provide kami ng school supplies sa mga students ng Boragwis Elementary School.
Actually, we also have the bags of drinks. Uh, kung saan nagbibigay kami ng school bags sa mga elementary students din ng mga far-fetch na mga elementary school dito sa Legacy City. Kung saan makikita mo rin minsan sa kanila na ang dala nilang school bag is eco bag. So, ngayon 360 really helped us uh, in achieving our dreams as an organization na makatulong din sa community natin. This year's project chairman of the Mayan 360, I was very privileged to work with a very good group, JCI Legaspi. For this year, we had 203 runners only for one category, which is the cello category. We estimate that we have around 80% new runners and then 20% repeating runners. So from those runners, we had runners from around the Philippines and we also have runners internationally like from Spain, London, we have Kenyan. My name is Philip Lomax. I'm actually from England, but now based in the Philippines, which I love very much. Um, I've known about Mayan 360 for a number of years now. It's actually been on my bucket list of one of the things that I wanted to do before I finally give up running due to old age. The reason behind doing this, you know, the Mayan 360 is because it's such a beautiful scenic place. I'm not actually looking for a time in this race. I just want to experience the tranquility of the, of, of the volcano, if you like, and really enjoy this run. As project chairman of the Mayon 360, we really challenge ourselves. Kasi syempre, gusto namin na uh, we really want to improve yearly. So this year, we had different sponsors. Our aid stations, we made sure that runners were well hydrated for every 2.5 kilometers. Um, actually nga, ang Mayon 360, we are known as the pinaka binibaby namin ng mga runners. Wala kang makikitang ultramarathon na pinaka inaalaga ng mga runners kung hindi Mayon 360. That's for every 5 kilometers, kompleto yan. Food, water, drinks, and for every 2.5 kilometers, meron mga, mga ice showers. So, napakasaya ng mga experience ng uh, runners natin. Pag pupunta ka ulit dito, yun po yung isang hanganap manapin po bilang isa pong atleta ng mga karamihan po. Kasi alam po nila na pag dito ulit po nila ginanap, alam po nila na sila po ay ligtas sa takbuhan po nito. As they said, my own 360 has been a tug of war between Kenyans and Filipinos. For four years now, we had Kenyans winning, and for three years now, and the recently, this 2017, we had the Filipino winner. Eugene Bong Costrado from Barangay Daku, Mubo, Masbate, 37 years old. Inspiration ko talaga rito, talunin yung Kenyan na yan. Kasi pangatlo na namin ito magkaharap-harap ng mga Kenyan na yan, dalawang beses nila akong tinalo. Puro sikit lang ako, ngayon ko lang sila tinalo. also help uh, help with us sa uh, pag-promote ng mga environmental projects such as yung coral genesis natin kung saan nagtatanim tayo ng mga artificial reefs sa 
part ng Santo Domingo Albay. And many more, many more stakeholders ang nagbe-benefit sa Mayon 360 such as businesses, uh, barangays, and also yung mga tourism spots. Because every time na dumarating yung mga runners natin dito sa Albay, ang dami nilang napupuntahan. And we are gathering around 1,000 tourists every time na may Mayon 360 because more than the runners, dumarating din po yung mga families, friends, and also the supporters nila na nagpupunta sa iba't ibang tourist attractions dito sa Albay. Handling my own 360 is fun. Uh, medyo mawawala yung pagod mo when you see all those runners run. When you see the joy in their faces when they cross the finish line, yung mga, mga saya nila, when the family approaches them, when they reach the finish line, magikita mo. Nawawala yung pagod, saka nawawala yung stress ng runner once nakikita nila, sinasalubong sila ng mga anak nila. Pagod yung pag nakikita mo yung mayon. Pag napapagod ako kanina, tinitingnan ko lang yun. Hinahanap ko yung mayon. Sabi ko, nasa una ako. Yung pala, nasa, nasa kanan ko. Nasa kanan ko yun. Nakakawala talaga ng pagod. Tapos, makikita ko pa yung mga dati mong kasama sa, pag, sa pagtakbo. Yun. Lah lahat nag-cheer. Kaya ano, kaya masaya. Ano, uh, token of fun na lang. Appreciation. Kasi sa effort na ginawa niya, hindi naman biro yung 80 kilometers na tinakbo. Saka yung ganda ng ruta ng mayon. The best yung ano, successful ng event nyo. Kaya uh, congrats din sa, ano, sa Mayon 360 sa lahat ng organizers. So, kahit na mga dalawang araw tayo walang tulog for na yung 360, it was all worth it once to see the reactions and then the comments and then the thanks, the mga pasalamat ng mga runner. Lahat yun, um, we are very thankful din. Thank you sa, ano, sa team, JTI, sa, sa, ano, sa pag-organize sa, sa pag ng event. Yeah, to organize it. I want to thank to organize to organize this series of events. And then we'll tell them, we'll come back next year. Unang-unang uh, po nagpapasalamat ako sa GCI ang nag-organizer uh, ng Mayon 360 tapos sa uh, government ng Albay. Uh, sa aking team, Tintubo, maraming maraming salamat sa inyong mahal.